going, keep it 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 going. We take around 16 to 20 breaths a minute. They're the organs that keep us alive and kicking, providing vital nutrients to the rest of our body. In today's episode of Dr. Nora, we're gonna be taking a look at how our lungs function and exactly how we measure our lung function tests. As a general practitioner, many of you will come in, say, with a cough or difficulty breathing or even shortness of breath. And as a doctor, we need to sit there and find out what exactly is wrong with your lungs. And so to do this, we use a machine known as a spirometer, and that helps us to diagnose conditions such as pulmonary fibrosis, which is scarring of the lungs, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and even cystic fibrosis. So let's go and get the nurse and see how we do this test. Taking us through the spirometry procedure is our beautiful practice nurse, Tracy. Tracy, thanks so much for joining us You're today. You're very welcome. So Tracy, what is spirometry? Spirometry is a lung function test yeah. to see if you've got any underlying conditions like COPD and other kind of respiratory illnesses. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. So, and I've never had it done myself before. I'm nervous. Okay. What do I expect? Me to yell at you. Going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it okay, going. Okay, perfect. I love this. I love this already. <laughs> um, okay, so all you need to do is sit down. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you to take a deep breath in okay. and then blow out as hard as you can. Okay. All right. Perfect. And so then that'll pick up any any kind any of issues with my lungs. Obstructions or... I hope not, I hope not. <laughs> and now it's really important for people out there who are having their spirometry chest to, if they're on inhaler puffers, do they take it prior or do we kind of say don't do it prior? Don't take it prior mm -hmm. um, until we've had it because normally we'll do a pre and post. Okay. So um, pre and then we'll do the inhaler and see how much it's working. There the we patient. go. Look at that, Tracy is all knowledgeable. Let's get started. Okay. Let's do this. So what do I need to do? Have a seat. Have a seat, okay. So yes. I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. Okay. So when I say to you go, yeah. so you take a really deep breath in, yeah. shoulders back, yeah. and then you seal your lips firmly around this seal so there's, yeah. a, there's no leakages. Okay. And then I'll yell at you to blow harder and, okay. and keep it going. And so don't open your mouth. Okay. Don't take your mouth off here okay. until I say you can. Okay. How bossy am I? I feel quite nervous, you know, guys. <laughs> so a really deep okay. breath in, seal your lips and blow until I say blow stop. Blow as hard and as fast as I can. Very hard. Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. So big breath in and go. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Well done. Ooh, that was hard work. Oh my goodness. It is. Yeah. I actually feel for my patients when they have to do this test wow. now. Okay. Yeah, so you did really well. Look at oh, that. Fantastic. You're so, definitely not a smoker, are you? I'm not a smoker. <laughs> there you go, guys. Do not smoke. So what do these pictures tell us? They kind of... So this is the, the baseline for your age, okay. weight, and that. So you're right up there. There we go. So just with a simple test in the literature, like one or two yeah. minutes, we can easily establish whether somebody's got some um, lung problems, if they have a breathing difficulty, and compare them to an average person, a healthy person of the same stature as themselves. Yes. And yeah. then let us know. And that also helps the GP know as well whether or not that person's got a... COPD or cystic fibrosis or asthma. So you've got great lungs for be, to become a diver. Well, forget, the, forget the doctor, just become a diver. <laughs> there you have it guys. <laughs> Thank you so much Tracy and I can yeah. see there's lots of numbers here which generally your doctor will analyse as well and have a look and make sure that your force expiratory volume is really good for your lungs as well. But as you can see a very easy simple test that we do over here in Runaway Bay Medical and Dental Centre and we have a beautiful nurse Tracy who is able to take you through the steps and I have to say she didn't actually yell at me that much whatsoever. I was expecting more. <laughs> Tracy yell at me more. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah. And there you have it guys, if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. But for now, take care and stay healthy. Now we've seen how a female performs, it's time to check out a male set of lungs. For this, I'm going to need a model. Welcome. How are you, Ash? Take a seat. Nice and tall, shoulders back. <coughs> when I tell you to, take a deep breath in. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. And stop. <laughs> sorry, I made yours a bit longer. No, <laughs> that was a very bad result. But just take it a fast breath, fast and hard. And go. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Well done. 
So Mr. Model, thank you so much for doing your spirometry. It's really helped me to analyze your lungs and see how well they're functioning compared to someone of your similar stature, age and height as well. So let's take a look at your report together. As we can see, the first time you did the test, it actually showed that your forced expiratory volume was actually lower than what it should be. And that might indicate a mild obstruction of your lungs. However, when you did do it for the second time, it went back to normal again. So perhaps you were feeling a little bit nervous and a little bit apprehensive. But don't worry, that does sometimes happen when you're having a spirometry test because you can feel a little bit nervous and so sometimes you don't perform as well as you would the second time round. And so when we look at now at your ratios, compared to someone of a similar age, height and weight to yourself, we actually see that your, your lung volume is absolutely normal and you're exactly where you should be on your graph. So I'm pleased to say that your spirometry test was normal.